a hundred percent gameplay it, 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 beautiful Hey guys, it's your boy Gloopyola and I hope you're having a great day today. I'm back on the balance. We got the regular balance stats, the regularly balanced deck. We're ready to absolutely clap. Good luck. Okay. This actually looks like a fire. We can find out. Actually, discard, discard. Uh, put it on that. So, add friend. 130 fire, exactly as we thought. So I don't think we're going to need the day breaker because I don't think we're going to strike. What we are going to do is we're going to balance a power because if we try to trigger a bubble war, um, one of us, if we have Maycast Aura, is more than likely going to get it. If I get it, beautiful, we get the advantage. If he gets it, beautiful, we can take the Aura Pop, and then we get the damage advantage. And we have a solid 1k health on him, so if we just take a damage advantage, it would be really good. He's... See, look at that. He didn't even bubble, and he got the Aura. To, I could... Okay, so here, listen out. Listen. Stun block, because I have to against a storm, against the fire. We did get the Aura. This is beautiful. We're a little bit on an even playing field now. The infall, this offensive, great. So now, I can take off his shield with a gaze and change the bubble at the same time into an aura pop, and we got it. Absolutely phenomenal. I think he's gonna go for the bubble change here. If he does, that's beautiful. He doesn't. I mean, does he just send an elf or like a brim? Ooh, a fire wyvern. That's interesting. Unless he crits this, it's, I don't know. It is gonna do a lot. Oh, and he crit? No, don't block the first hit. Block the overtime. 20% roll through. Block the overtime. Block it. Just block the over. Block it. Ooh, that's going to do a lot of damage. I guess we'll death bat. I mean, we don't have another move. You see our hand. That's doing 600. Ooh, that's a lot. We have to death bat here. We don't have another move. Is that or thermic? And if we thermic, it lets him get the advantage. We did pull the aura pop. That's great. Does he bubble change here, though? He's not really that close to getting a shad, so I'm assuming he's just rocking the regular Admiral's wand. Um, he's, wait, he's going for a hit? What is this? Oh, a Hephaestus. That, that wasn't that bad of a move. I'll give you that. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to gaze first. Because if we gaze first, the second head that can do a lot, it will indeed... No crit... Oh, I, oh. Thank you, block. Um, but if he... Uh, the second head... It, since he has the furnace, it can hit ice and do more, or because he has the bubble, it can hit fire and do more. So that's also great. A nested fury would also be lit, because if it hits high end, it hits high end. If it's any of the other ones, it is buffed up. But I don't think a nested fury is our best bet here. I think this is, because we do a lot of damage to him, as well as changing the bubble. And if we happen to crit this, like he's done with both of his hits so far, you know, we should crit this, come on game. Then it's gonna do massive damage. Just crit this. Yes! Thank you for critting. Do not you dare block. You're a fire wizard. I'm a balance, so I have a little bit of block. You're a fire wizard. You don't have you don't you don't have any block. So how much is that first head doing? Completely open. How much is it doing? 1200. Hit fire. Just do it. Just hit fire. Oh, it hit none of what we wanted. Oh, it hit the one elemental school that would have been bad for us. Okay. So not that big of a problem. Because now. We can actually send the aura pop and then we will have the bubble with it so he does go for a shield i'm assuming here okay he does he does only have one turn left of his aura so if i if i a, a good move here would be to shield into the aura pop i think um because then the overtime would take it off but yeah it, it's just a few things that could happen this is the only real move i can do now because his aura pop uh is only has one because his aura only has one turn left does he bubble here he does Ooh. Okay, he did send the elf. That was a good move from him. What we can do here is we can go for a lore master. Uh, if we kept it. Hopefully we did. We could also triage. But I think a lore master is by far a better bet. Because here's what we can do. We can lore master uh, into a shield into a nested. Or we can lore master into a gaze if we get the shad. Change the bubble and it's beautiful. But really a good thing here is he doesn't have his ore. So he doesn't have the extra accuracy. So on the really small chance that he just randomly fizzles, I think we just win the game. However, I'm really putting it on him for the weakness, because that weakness is going to deal loads of extra value for me. Fizzle that. Beautiful, he fizzled. So now, what we can go for is just an open piglets into a judge, exactly as we just said. And the weakness should save us, I think. 
because unless he crits if he crits it's over but that's just because he wins to a crit the weakness should save us from an ffa of him not critting because how much is that doing i think a judge will kill 1300 Ooh, a judge may not so now no matter what he does we should go for the tower into the gaze he has to go for the ffa here it's if he crits we lose that's the only oh i don't think that was his move does he crit this he crits this this is gonna do a massive amount he's gonna do this into a scorching Mm. I don't think he, I died of that though. I don't think I died of that into a scorching. So now obviously I just go for the shield here. How much is that doing? 500 around? And then that should be done, right? So he he has to deal about 2500 damage with the scorching scimitar here. I don't think he can do that. He's going to obviously shield, I believe. The question is do I think I can kill with a gaze? I don't think I can. So that does like eight like 900 base do a shield on one of the heads i don't think i can kill with a gaze so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shield again he's i think he's just gonna send the um the ffa here he does so i don't think we should die to this even without a even with a crit um uh, we may uh no crit beautiful we have 60 resist it's gonna come really close Ooh. Okay, so he can't kill me if I if I go for an Afrit here. So what I want to do is I want to pull for a Judge if I have it. I don't think I do. But I think I'm just going to Afrit here. And I can Aura pop him. I can also go for a, a Judge if I pull it. Crit maybe? No crit. Okay, so we do have the minus 90 on him. Ooh, what does he do? I really need him to get the aura here. I I, like, I still need the aura here. A judge wouldn't kill. I just need him to get the aura pop here. He does crit. Um, hmm. I think the aura here would win me the game. I gotta do the... Give him the furnace. You know you want to, game. Give him the furnace. Ooh. Oh, he shields. Oh, a gaze kills. Oh my goodness, he, I deck failed, he deck failed, is even. Gaze kills now. Gaze away, gaze of his, gaze his cheeks, out of here. I don't care, I use the minus 90 of free. Yeah, look, the, the fires just fall apart whenever we use minus 90. But they're just like, oh, minus 90 is all right. Yeah, you can keep minus 90 in the game. But whenever the other schools have minus 90, they just fall apart. 100% gameplay, beautiful. We got us a match. Let's see who is up against. That's a fire. I know for a fact that my man has minus 90 of free, and he likes to use them to his fullest ability. He's gonna blade. So he's obviously gonna go for a fire off. So I think we're gonna weakness because if we shield, the it's not gonna do as much against a fire off as a weakness would. Because the weakness would affect the entire elf. The a shield would just affect the first hit of it. Is he bubbling here? Is he gonna blade again? He's gonna blade. That's the same blade. Okay, what I think we do is we go for a bubble, try to trigger a bubble war, because one of us is more than likely to get an aura. If I get the aura, I get the advantage. If he gets the aura, I take the bubble pop and I get the advantage. I can also burn. That's great. I also got the aura pop and we can also gaze of meat. So that's amazing as well. He actually, what in the world is up with my shadow rating versus his? I do have 113 shadow rating. So, I mean, if he has lower shadow rating, it does make sense kind of. Does he just go for the fire elf here? He does. Okay, so I think I should just take an open shot here. Like maybe a ninja pigs? I does it doing 450. Actually, I think a burn is slightly better. Because it's only doing 200 around. It's not that bad. If I burn, he he can't really do much. I did crit the burn with a bubble up. That is going to do a lot. 1800 and we get the aura. Oh my goodness, yes. Infall beautiful. If we can do more offensive stuff. We do need to actually stun block though. That is That is key here is to stun block. We can actually take an open worm if he lets us. I doubt he'll let us though. Oh, oh, is he gonna change the bubble? Is that what it is? He doesn't. That's the same blade. Does he get a shad? Um Okay, worm. Oh my goodness. 
I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not like, you know, relying on a crit, not begging for a crit, but if I crit an open, infalled, bubbled worm on this fire wizard, game over, GG, you have lost. I don't, he's playing really horribly. I've played him before. He's played pretty good. I'm assuming it's just to deck fails. Crit maybe? And okay, no crit. That would have been a little bit too much because we do pierce through everything. That's like 3k right there. Oh, okay. So he's going to get the shed, right? He does. So we we got a thermic because we can't stun block here um, since those are two different blades and he's just going to get mad, mad value on us. I think he is going to elf here. That's fine. Um, because if he elves... Oh, okay. We could triage this. We pull a triage. Or a shift. I don't think we have the pips to shift, though. He crit. Okay, we would really need a shift right now. I don't think we have the... Okay, triage it is, then. We've got to pull our triage. That did 120. Oh my goodness, we blocked it like a legend. 20% rolling through. He did get the aura. Hmm, I can't fizzle the aura pop. He can't kill me. I should aura pop him here. I got the follow-up. The only way he could possibly kill me is with a stun maneuver here. But yeah, I he just has a blade. I don't not even a crit FFA with the trap on the fire wyverns doing enough. He would have to FFA into a stun into something, but I can kill him regardless. So this is just an easy GG clap game. Yeah, he's gonna have to FFA here. Hope to crit it with the blade up. Oh, okay. I guess I don't know. I don't know what he's trying to do here because this does less than FFA. I guess maybe trying to get another shadow into it of the scorching. He doesn't crit. So, I mean, was it really that worth it? I don't think so. Like his his Hail Mary move was to go for an FFA there. Crit the FFA hope that it does a lot but i don't even think it would have killed there so yeah now we lower we call it a game out of my we're gonna absolutely destroyed i'm gonna assume he just lost to deck fails there so i can't really blame his playstyle off of that it was just his deck but he played, played pretty questionably i hope you enjoyed that video if you did like it hit the like button below but only like it if you really did like it make sure to go join my discord it'll be in the description below along with my twitch and any tips tricks questions comments or hate me got post those in the comments below i'll be reading those upon those as soon as i see them but until then, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!